guys, good morning. Happy Vlogmas Day 6. I have soaking wet hair right now because I just got out of the shower. But I thought I would take you guys through my current kind of like straight hair routine. So obviously this is when I'm looking to not wear it in its natural texture, which is like a wavy kind of curly depending on the weather and the day. So the first thing I do is I take this Pure Adore Hair Thinning Therapy like scalp serum. The pump actually doesn't work on this anymore. So I just take a little bit, rub it between my hands, and I just like to focus this right on the front of my head. I let it get all foamy. And then I just literally massage it into the front of my head. I do this not because I have experienced any sort of hair thinning, but I do tend to wear my hair up in ponytails a lot. So I feel like it just really helps prevent anything from happening in the future. So next, this little guy is just the winner right here. This is the Dry Bar Southern Bell Volume Boosting Root Lifter. This stuff is great when I am gonna blow dry my hair and I want some nice volume up on top, but it doesn't look too intense. So what I do is I just spray it into my roots. It's like a moussey texture as you can see. And then you literally just, again, massage it in. And then when you apply heat and blow dry your hair, it gives a really nice extra little bit of volume. The scent is literally like heavenly. I love the way that dry bar products smell and it doesn't make my hair feel crunchy. It doesn't make it feel like I have a ton of products sitting in it. It's really great for somebody like me who has a lot of hair and it's very long. So sometimes I find that that can kind of like weigh my hair down just because there is so much of it. Once that is worked in, then through the middle to the end of my hair, I apply the Olaplex number six bond smoother. I love Olaplex, it is done wonders for my hair and I've gone through like three of these. That much is literally all you need. A little goes a long way if you use too much of this. I have found that it does weigh down your hair, but if you just use a little bit and then you run it through the middle to the ends of your hair, it really just smooths everything out and it helps prevent split ends. It adds heat protection. So now I'm going to brush that out with this wet brush from Goody. Just make sure that all the product is evenly distributed and also I don't have any tangles going on. Alrighty, so now I'm going to let my hair air dry about 70% just because going in when it's still sopping wet with the blow dryer is seriously so damaging. So I like to wait until it's about 70% of the way dry and then what I do to just make sure that it stays kind of as straight as possible and doesn't develop any sort of wave is every few minutes I will just continue brushing it to kind of force it to stay somewhat straight. I don't know if that's weird, but it works for me. So I'm gonna let this air dry for probably like half an hour or so and then I will check back in with you guys before I jump into blow drying. Okay, so my hair is like 70% of the way dry. It's still definitely a little damp, but you guys can probably see like underneath, it's definitely getting a little drier. I also started to do my makeup, but I'm gonna finish it once I'm done blow drying my hair. Uh, I just did some Glossier Skin Tint, NARS Concealer, and then the Glossier Powder. I still need to do like blush, bronzer, all that stuff, because not only am I gonna be on screen producing, but I'm hosting as well, so it's going to be a lot of my face. So now I'm going to blow dry my hair. Um, this is the blow dryer that I've been using. It's just here at my mom's place. It's the Babyliss Pro Ink. I think that this was like a collaboration with Ed Hardy or something, but I might be making that up. Anyways, going to blow dry my hair. I don't do it in a specific way. I don't use like a round brush or anything. I am not good at that technique. Despite the fact that I used to intern at a hair salon and they tried their best to teach me. So going to do that and then my hair will be nice and dry. Alrighty, so this is how we are looking. Basically, it's pretty straight except for the ends and it needs to be smoothed out a little bit, but I'm going to finish doing my makeup before I finish my hair just because I feel like my face looks very incomplete right now uh, because I just like have you know foundation and powder on, so it's very one color. So we're gonna finish the makeup first. <laughs> break to eat some lunch and finish up everything I needed to do for the show that I'm producing in about 20 minutes but I am going to straighten my hair and then I will show you guys the products that I use to finish it off. I try not to 
run over it too many times with a straightener because obviously that is pretty damaging. So I try and just do one pass, but go slow. Um, of course, I have to run over a couple pieces, like a few times in the front usually, but for the most part, I try and just run over things once. So to finish off the hair, um, first I take the Moroccan oil treatment in the light formula. It's just a little less heavy than the original one. Again, heavenly though, and I feel like the scent really lasts in your hair. Both this oil and like all the dry bar products will last in your hair for forever. So I just warm it up in between my palms. I find that if I warm it up a little bit, it just really sinks into the hair. And I just run my hands through, like so. I try to focus most of it on the middle to the ends, and then just a little bit on top to tame the flyaways. And then just because I am gonna be on camera today and my hair is so fresh, I don't want it to be like flopping in my face, I'm gonna take a little bit of hairspray. This is the Dry Bar Money Maker Flexible Hold Hairspray. This stuff is the best hairspray I have ever tried. It is not crunchy. Your hair still feels like it can move and it's flexible and you can run your fingers through your hair and it smells amazing. Literally the scent will linger in your hair for like two days straight. And I am gonna have everything that I'm using and mentioning linked down below too so you guys can find it. I don't like to use a lot, I just like to use a little bit. I'm not the biggest fan of hairspray, but I do love this one. But I still try and use it kind of sparingly. I literally just like lift it up at the root and just do like doo -doo, little sprays. I don't know what that sound was. I let that sit just for a second. Obviously my hair looks a little messy now on top, but I just let it kind of settle and then I'll run my fingers through it. And that is it. That is literally my straight hair routine. I feel like it's pretty easy. I do use quite a few products, but I feel like it doesn't feel too much for me. My hair still feels very weightless. It doesn't feel like I have a ton of product in it. We have a little bit of volume on top, but not anything too crazy. It's silky smooth, it feels healthy, and it looks really good for the camera too. I'm going to wear some red lipstick today because the theme of my show this month, it's a theater show, but I figured since it's the holiday season, I want to incorporate some holiday and Christmas cheer. So I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty liquid lipstick and apply that very carefully because I do not want it to go all over my face. Okay, you guys, I'm about to log on for my talk show. Um, like I said, it's a monthly theater talk show. Uh, let me make sure I don't have any lipstick on my teeth. I think we're good. Anyways, my guest this month is actually a really good friend of mine. Her name is Annalise Scarpacci. She was most recently seen in Mrs. Doubtfire on Broadway prior to the shutdown. So I'm just waiting for her to get on. We're gonna do a quick little sound check and then the show starts in about 20 minutes. So very, very exciting, I can't wait. I truly like love hosting this thing. I had to go on a brief hiatus last month due to producing like a ton of other projects, but now the show is back and I am so thrilled. I just, I really can't wait. Okay, the show went well. And now we're taking the little one out for a late night walk. It's not even that late, it's like 6.30, but it's so dark out. I didn't realize how much I have left to do tonight and tomorrow. Tomorrow's vlog is going to be literally like jam-packed and I'm going a few places, which will be good. Nowhere that other people are, but um, still be out and about and it won't just be me in the apartment. <laughs> Let me see your Harry Potter sweater. It's so cute. Where's it from? Where's it from? Me aunties. Give us a little twirl. Very nice. Oh, Christmas trees. Oh, Christmas trees. Kevin, next year we need a huge Christmas tree. Dakota just met basically like a Great Dane. We are so proud. The point is, it was a big animal and Dakota socialized and we're proud puppy parents. We're in CVS. I didn't know if I wanted a snack or I was just tempted. You don't want anything? I don't know what I want. I have M&Ms in the house. Oh, what are those? What? Fruity Lucky Charms? Straight like oh. Fruit Loops. Your glasses, Kevin. Okay, very exciting. I got Kevin a new snack to try. These are definitely not something that I would like, but hopefully he will. Um, Cheetos Flamin' Hot Popcorn. But I got one of these. I've never tried this brand, the Bubbly Sparkling Water, but it sounds really good. I'm not a big soda person, but I thought, you know what, let's just try it. I am very excited, though. You can come in. I'm just talking to the cabinet. I just need a scissor. Oh, I'm gonna need a scissor in a second, too. I am very excited because I think think my new external mic just came in from Amazon. You guys are kind of getting a sneak peek to my Black Friday slash Cyber Monday haul, because um, this is one of the things that I ordered, but this is it. I thought I would show it early because I'm so excited. Yes, it is. I am so excited. I cannot wait to use this on both my vlog camera and my like big DSLR. That's primarily what I bought this for, but I bought the Rode 
video micro mic. I am so excited for this. I have needed a new external mic. This is going to be a very much needed and hopefully very positive upgrade. Look how cute it is, so tiny, but it's supposed to be really good, so I'm pumped. Dakota gets to do an Amazon haul too. What did she get? Adult food. <gasps> she got adult food because she's now a year old and we are so proud of her. I was wondering who that was for because Kevin, my mom was going through the closet last night and she goes, did I just find one of your Christmas presents again accidentally? No. And I was like, hey, I already found the gravity blanket so this Christmas is basically age. done. Chocolate mint, oh my God, chocolate mint hot chocolate. Wow, gingerbread hot chocolate, snickerdoodle hot chocolate. S'mores, caramel. Well, I don't like caramel though, so you'll probably like that. Kevin, should I show them um, the Christmas gift for me that I found? Yeah. Okay, I'll show them. So, uh, this is like two days ago. My mom and I were home, and this like giant package got delivered. And I was like, why is this so heavy? Like, the box was literally 20 pounds. And then on the side in big letters, it said gravity. And I've been wanting a weighted blanket for forever. And so I was like, oh my God, it's a weighted blanket. And then I was like, did I just find my Christmas pre present from Kevin? Turns out I did. So he got me, uh, we've been using it like nonstop because we figured, you know what, might as well just like break it open. So he got me um, one of the like gravity weighted blankets. It's so amazing. We have been loving it. Um, he got us the 20 pound one. I probably could have gotten or gone with the 15 because I really don't weigh that much, but it's not anything like crazy heavy. We have been definitely enjoying it. It is very cozy and it will look good with our new like apartment color theme. All right, Kevin's gonna try the um, Flamin' Hot Cheetos popcorn. We're just wiping it down. I mean, I'm sure it's not too different from Flamin' Hot Cheetos. I don't know. I don't like Flamin' Hot Cheetos, so I would not know. I don't like spicy things. Like popcorn. I like that you just like subtle nod. It's fine. It's not better than normal flaming hot Cheetos. I mean it's different. I would either prefer like just regular popcorn, I think, or just Cheetos. Oh, so it's actually popcorn. I didn't know no. if it was like little mini puffs. No, it's it's popcorn. Oh. Well that was fun. Ten out of ten would try. You would try, but how how likely would you be to buy it again? Um, probably never. <laughs> All right. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Kevin's food reviews. Um, we'll be back for another installment next week.